Hello students, welcome all to a new session of our mathematical world. Today, we are going to open up a new topic, cubes and cube roots. Look at this dice. What is its shape? That's right, it's a cube. A cube is a solid figure which has six equal squares as its faces. If the length of an edge of a cube is a unit, then its volume is a multiplied by a multiplied by a equals a raised to three. If the length of its side is a equals one unit, what will be the volume? Yes, the volume is 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 equals 1 raised to 3. If the length A equals 2 unit, then the volume is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 equals 2 raised to 3. If the length a equals 3 units, then the volume is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 equals 3 raised to 3. If the length A equals 4 units, then the volume is 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 equals 4 raised to 3. Let's tabulate the length of the edges and corresponding volumes. These numbers are the cubes of natural numbers they are called perfect cubes. That is, a perfect cube is a number that is obtained by multiplying the same natural number three times. Is 125 a perfect cube? Yes, because 125 can be expressed as 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 equals 5 raised to 3. So, it's a perfect cube. Is 216 a perfect cube? Yes, 216 can be written as 6 multiplied by 6, multiplied by 6, equals 6 raised to 3. So, it's a perfect cube. Is 36 a perfect cube? No, as there are no natural numbers, which are multiplied by taking 3 times giving 36. Now, let's have a look at the cubes of the first 20 natural numbers. We can find some properties of cube numbers by observing this table. Take a look at the even numbers and their cubes. What did you observe? The cubes of even numbers are all even. What about the odd numbers? The cubes of odd numbers are all odd. The pattern shows the cubes of some numbers end in 1. Look at the cubes, what did you find? The cubes also end in 1. If a number has 1 in its unit place, then its cube ends in 1. This pattern shows the cubes of some numbers that ends in 2. What did you find by observing the cubes? The cubes end in 8. If a number has 2 in its unit's place, then its cube ends in 8. Similarly, this pattern shows the cubes of some numbers ending in 3. What did you find? The cubes end in 7. If a number has 3 in its unit place, then its cube ends in 7. 
Let's have a quick recap. Today, we discussed perfect cubes. And some properties of the cube. Let's do an activity. We have seen that if a number ends in 1, its cube ends in 1. If a number ends in 2, its cube ends in 8. If a number ends in 3, its cube ends in 7. Find the unit digits of the cubes of numbers that ends with digits 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.